You are watching my favorite YouTube channel, Chillmonger. Let's talk about Nikki Marina and a, a long TikTok, two years old, and let's see how it aged. She, her right here, is a TikTok creator. We've seen her on the red carpet for American Society of Magical Negroes, right? Definitely was there for the Acolyte. Got a little bit of access media throughout the years. This is her feelings. July 27 of 2022 is when this came out. It's loading. Let's read this comment. How do you feel about fans screaming to boycott Black Panther 2 because they're mad about not having a new T'Challa in the MCU? That question makes a lot of sense. You know, it's the greatest hero that has ever happened of that ethnicity. Um, fuck them. Sorry. The greatest hero, that, that question is saying what we can do is support it and give it money, allowing the studio to go, oh yeah, everything's fine. The people are willing to accept that there's going to be no more greatest fucking black character in the history of cinema. Uh, that was the protest. That's what I did. I didn't pay money to see that movie. I didn't buy a t-shirt after that movie came out or a bobblehead. I just withheld and I made the message, you can't make money using not him but you did make a lot of money when you used him that's the message i was sending it wasn't anti-women which is the angle you already know let's go to world's end and back to davy jones locker and back I'm gonna start off by saying that i don't envy the people that had to make that decision of how to move forward with black panther here we are grieving the <sighs> i don't envy them looking for like that sympathetic i don't envy them the people who had to make that decision We've learned made that decision in minutes. We've heard Nate Moore say it on the Van Lathan podcast on The Ringer. What are the chances we see the character of T'Challa in the MCU moving forward? I'm not I'm not hedging my bets, I'm being quite honest. Uh-huh. T'Challa is you will not see T'Challa in the MCU 616 universe. We could we couldn't do it. I mean, I will say mm -hmm. when when Chad passed, it was a real conversation we had with Kugler about what do we do? And it was a fast conversation. It wasn't weeks. It was minutes of we have to figure out how to move this franchise on without that character. It took minutes. It didn't take weeks. It didn't take days. They did it really quickly. It was an impulse reaction. So, I mean, I don't envy them. They had to make the decision. They made the wrong decision because their decision resulted in the most impactful anti-stereotype character in the history of film, comics, and any medium being absent. That was the outcome of their decision. It was the wrong one. It was emotional. I don't envy them because, you know, they were put in a bad place. But they 100% did the wrong thing. The, man that the wrong thing for, ma for racial progression, for inspiration, the wrong thing for seeing black people as valued and not dehumanizing and having another death, another killed character, you know, not having something longer to build a foundation for a character who we can build on and have become just as big as Batman is, the wrong thing for those reasons. Here we are grieving the man that brought this character to life, and we're all still grieving. Now you got it. This was two years after he died, that she said this. It is now four years. Does that age well? We're still grieving the way the man who died. This is a character. And when you're an actor, you go on set, you play your character, you talk about another character. If you care so much about the actors, you wouldn't say this stuff. They, be, they relived the death of their friend, except their characters had to do it now too. This wasn't something that was great for the actors. This was emotionally traumatizing for them too, to come to set and film the film that we all saw in November of 2022. Still grieving. Now you got to decide, well, where the fuck do we go from here? Regardless of what the decision was, it was a shitty position to be in. Sure. I know it's a big loss to not have T'Challa in the MCU anymore, but you know what's a bigger loss? <laughs> Chadwick himself, the, the person. What the fuck does that even mean? Yeah, it was sad to lose the character. Losing Chadwick was even bigger of a loss. But like, in, the storm, in terms of storytelling, in terms of what I'm saying, what I'm, what I'm talking about having this positive imagery that... Chadwick, the person, was trying to get really, really big. You know, you, you could. There was clips of him like next to Paul Bettany and the, all the other Avengers, and he's dozing off, but then they have to wake him up. He's like, oh, "No, no, I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I think I'm okay." And he's doing all this press, trying to do things for the character. He was dying, spending the last years of his life 
elevating the character, playing his voice in a what if. Chadwick Boseman, the person, didn't want T'Challa not to be on screen anymore. You fucking idiot. He wanted the opposite. Not Nikki, the fucking idiot, but anyone who disagrees with that. Also, I guess Nikki. But like, if you don't have that, if you still have that opinion here, this emotional opinion, you're actually misrepresenting this man who died like an idiot. I think it speaks a lot to the quality of this man's character that they decided that after one Black Panther film, his shoes are too fucking big to fill. Is that what you're telling yourself? The absence of this great representation is going to be justified because, you know, Chad was just so good. That's hey, that's how good Chadwick was. No more good black representation for the million, billions of people in the world who Hollywood touches. That's... That's the what you're saying to yourself? It just doesn't add up. I, I understand what they'll say, and I've heard what Kevin Feige said. He transcends any iteration. Right here, here's the clip. Chadwick Boseman was an immensely talented actor and an inspirational individual who affected all of our lives, professionally and personally. His portrayal of T'Challa the Black Panther is iconic and transcends any iteration of the character in any other medium from Marvel's past. And it's for that reason that we will not recast the character so they complimented him up to the moon to end up where representation's best representative is not representing it was a good decision to out of respect for chadwick continue black panther but basically acknowledge the fact that t'challa is gone and really validate the place that he held in this world and in our hearts and just how much of a loss we still feel from him being gone the loss that we were gonna you're gonna feel that anyways it's been four years since he died i feel the loss we needed to we needed to continue black panther you're not continuing black panther without the black panther that's then you're not accurately continuing the black panther you're providing a shell of the franchise missing its primary character and it's bad it's like representation wise this is bad this is a step down this is regressive this isn't at all what he asked for not one time Chad, Chad. T'Challa is just the character. The role was far too important. And it's and it was bigger than just one person because of the effect that it had on black children. Yeah. Like my my uh great nephew by by marriage from watching the first Black Panther, his aspiration was to be a scientist because because he saw this brilliant elegant articulate black man and he said i can do that too I'm gonna feel when we went to see the movie regardless of if they recast the challa or not we're all gonna be sitting there regardless being like fuck chadwick's gone the fucked up thing is that a lot of these people that want to boycott don't even have any of this in mind what? some of this shit is rooted in some misogyny because these are the same people some of them that would rather see i like that she did say some of them because like okay chillmonger you triggered? I just said some of them. Huh? Uh-huh. Well, okay. Yeah. Some of them are misogynists. Absolutely. This is true. There are people in the world who exhibit misogyny. This is a fact. It's got nothing to do with me. Let's hear you talk. Because these are the same people, some of them, that would rather see Killmonger somehow miraculously raised back from the dead to put on the Black Panther suit than to see Okoye or Shuri take the mantle. What in the motherfuck? So you gotta wonder if race comes into this as well. Because something tells me that if like Robert Downey Jr. croaked sometime after Age of Ultron, y'all would be hella mad if they recast Tony Stark. Also the fact that you would ironically try to destroy Chadwick's legacy. Black Panther ushering in a new wave of representation for not only black people, but now in Wakanda forever, indigenous people. Latin I don't know her background, but the way she said it made it sound like she was an indigenous person who's underrepresented. That's the supporting cast of a film is not at all what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the lead character, primary character, whose name is on the marquee, who deserves to get a sequel and a trilogy and featured on Avengers teams. Yeah, the supporting cast will be multicultural. Isn't at all what I'm talking about. American indigenous people, which might I add, is a group that gets overlooked all the time. Sometimes okay, I, you like Latin American indigenous people? I assure you, Namor McKenzie is not that background. They race swapped for this movie. He won't be featured that way in a comic if I pick it up. He won't be featured that way in a TV show if I pick it up. If I watch that show, if I watch all the old cartoons he appeared in, 
next time they redo it, where they cast this cast, they will not be married to getting someone of Talukan descendant. You should be on the front lines asking for one of the people that the heroes from the ethnicity you're looking for to be represented. You shouldn't be here like kissing up to Marvel. You should be someone who's demanding more representation from them that is lasting and that is not a supporting character and that is a lead of the film with a budget, with A-list treatment. Like that's what you should be doing instead of going, oh, I got my little representation. So look at it, it's so beautiful. It's so little, but it's so beautiful. That's not where you should be. Like you're doing representation wrong. Advocacy for representation wrong. Overlooked all the time. Sometimes we're bullied and told that we're not even real indigenous. You would pull support from the black women and the characters that they play that now have to continue this legacy while still grieving Chadwick slash T'Challa. You know what? I'm not surprised because these are some of the same motherfuckers that while Chadwick's body was still warm, the first question they were asking is, what's going to happen to T'Challa? I'm not that. I haven't done a recast video or talked about him for months after he died. I think it was in this November. So he died in August and I did a video in November. I try not to capitalize on death or not to do that. I was careful not to do that. But I was, Chad died on August 28. I was recast T'Challa on August 27. There was not a moment I was okay with T'Challa disappearing. Like they killed the character. Not, oh, they just did a second movie without him. Where is he? He's in space. Where is he? He's on another country. Where is he? Uh, he's occupied right now. Where is he? He's missing. Or is he? We, there were, we didn't do that. We said, finito, end. No more him. Go enjoy Shuri. Here's the little TJ at the end. Go. He's, he's T'Challa now. I'm the captain now. <laughs> no more T'Challa. Like, true T'Challa. That's what they did. I, uh, maybe she was upset with the outcome of the movie. I don't know. I know she was upset. She did a TikTok like weeks after. Why wasn't I invited to the red carpet? And based on where I am and what I have done... I should be there, but I'm not. There are other black women that do content in the same arena as me, and they're not there, or barely. If in the next few days you see people posting about an event that, I don't know, you might think that black women probably should be invited to, like more than other events, please pay attention to how many of us aren't there. Please pay attention to the absence of certain black female creators that you know should be there. But we aren't. This has been depressing, humiliating, demoralizing. The cast, they missed T'Challa slash Chadwick, she said. They, let's not do that, bro. A cast's job is to act. If you are incapable of acting after somebody died the same week, understandable. The same month, people take a long time to grieve. If you couldn't do the job and the script had already been completed and Chad actually read the script two weeks before his passing... If you couldn't do the job of acting in a role in a movie where you looked at another actor and you called him T'Challa, you are not a qualified actor. You, like, someone else can take your place. After a year, 11 months after August, they showed up for principal photography in July. That was when they began filming this movie. Every single one of those char- actors are capable of acting like their characters with another man playing the role of T'Challa as emotional as it is. And if you thought about them, you wouldn't want them to be looking at each other on set, Okoye looking at Nakia. It was not easy. He was Black Panther to everyone, but to me. <sighs> why, why would you want them to relive it? Why would you want to dress up Letitia Wright to play Shuri, Queen Angela Bassett uh, Ramonda? Why would you want them reenacting a funeral if you cared about their mental? Marvel did the worst. Marvel capitalized on these emotions, manipulated the emotions. Hey, we're going to do a scene where you cry on the beach. Oh, you thought all that cry stuff was over? No, no, that's how we're ending the movie too. Showing up at the Comic-Con, playing the trailer. I'm playing that right now. Look, it's on screen. You see that right there? The trailer just played and look at the original cast. 100% in their feelings. You remember the trailer? No woman, no cry. They're crying. Like crazy, Kevin Feige on the side clapping. <laughs> Standing in front of the camera. What are you talking about? This movie was exactly the trauma 
what Nikki over here is talking about is not considering what the the job entailed when they did Wakanda Forever. It should have been a Black Panther two with the recast, which had nothing to do with Chadwick Boseman's death. Maybe a tribute towards the beginning or towards the ending, but nothing in the plot from day to day where the actors had to wear this emotional uh, umbrella. Or, or I don't know, that's not a term. They had to wear this on them. The first question they were asking is, what's going to happen to T'Challa? Disrespectful asses. No, actually, if you want to boycott, y'all can stay home. I did. We don't want to see you there. You don't need to be sitting in the theater trying to enjoy this movie while also grieving, but then listening to you complain about how it's not what you fucking wanted. Because newsflash, <laughs> it's not what any of us wanted. What we would all, all love is if Chadwick Boseman never passed away in the first place. Right. No, she's right, though. That is what we would all want, is for if Chadwick Boseman never died in the first place. It didn't happen. And how they've worked themselves out of that or past that was racially regressive, was unprogressive, and it grossed less money. You said, oh, people should stay home. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of repeat views here. The first movie grossed $1.3 billion. The second movie was in the 800 millions. There were less people who were interested in coming to see this movie again and again, feeling the inspiration. There were less people who bought a ticket. That's bad. That's a number that some of people who did boycott affected. And it, like they've got to now work through that. They go, ooh, it looks like our franchise is losing interest. They also have data on toy sales, on the Fortnite stuff where you could not buy a skin to play as the lead character, Letitia Wright Shuri, Black Panther version. You couldn't buy a skin for her at the time. I think like this month or last month is when you could finally play as Shuri. And it's not a very popular skin on Fortnite. They have this data. The company now needs to go, ooh, do we do Black Panther 3? So... It's been two years since then. We've had a couple Comic Cons since then and a D23 ex uh, exhibit. We know there's a Toy Story 5 coming and a Zootopia 2 and more Moana live action and all these things in the past, in the future. We know movies that are coming out in 2027 and nothing on the slate is Black Panther. They're not doing more with Shuri. What should they do with Shuri? Well, if you're a comic book head, you know that she would ascend. Now she has these additional powers. She goes by the Aja Adana and she can turn it. Look, let's pull up the Marvel fan site, Marvel database, her powers. These are her herbal boistered physiology. We know what the heart shaped herb can do. But what about her Dejalia enhancements? Shuri returned from her stay at the Dejalia changed, having been imbued with supernatural powers from the teachings of a griot. On the side, anamorphism, enhanced durability, enhanced speed. This is next for the character. She actually has her own brand, her own unique set of skills. T'Challa Black Panther can't have a stone form or size alteration, but she can. The Jalia Transport, the Realm Empowerment. Wakandans are made several times more powerful while in the Great Velt. Shuri being able to accomplish even greater usage of her abilities while she's there. Animal Empathy, Necromancy. She's got new abilities and her own kind of like what's next for the character is to stand up on her own. And she does have that. And the next step in the story is to do that. I've done this before. Yes, I went into this before when there were less stars behind me. And I talked about Shuri, her comic book origin. I talked about how this is the 13 years on Marvel's sliding timeline. I went through the comic book where T'Challa went out. It's all up there. And you can see every panel taken from her, how she becomes considered worthy of becoming the Black Panther, ascending the Doctor Doom fight, everything to do with Namor, T'Challa rehabilitating. It was a 29-minute video. It was a long one. I like this part up here showing you I have comics. I read Shuri. I know she is. Featuring Shuri. Rhino tries to get himself into Wakanda, and she has no problem with defending against him why does she have no problem even though she's not wearing the black panther suit well it's because during the ta-nehisi coates written era of 2000 and it's basically everything i just told you now during when coates was writing the comics he advanced her he said no we're not going to make you secondary black panther you're the first aja adana 
And this is the second time that I did it. I covered more of her story. I went through the comic Dooms War. I went through everything to do with Reed Richards. She had a Claws of the Panther for four issues that she's starring. It's called Black Panther Claws of the Panther. This is definitely her starring it. And she's not sharing it with her brother. And it went for four you know, limited series. It did what it did. It's expand on that. That's what will be next for Shuri if she's playing Black Panther. But this was a 20-minute video or so. I Yeah, and like I said, Thanos sends Midnight Sun. What's her name? Um, Moderna Moxina Proxima Midnight in a 2014 comic book. And that's how long she stayed. She was Black Panther for like four years or so, roughly. And it came to an ending. Then when Ta-Nehisi Coates was writing the comment, that's Manifold and T'Challa traveling dimensions, trying to find her, her soul and get her back. And they were accomplishing that. That's what's next for the character. So we want more Shuri, the way Shuri's supposed to play out for her to advance and not for her to be secondary to T'Challa, what T'Challa always was. That's literally not in her source material. That's not for her. This is for her. Monday is the two-year anniversary of Wakanda Forever. I'm taking to Twitter along with others to make it trend. Recast T'Challa. And using terms like Wakanda forever, T'Challa forever. That's the call to action here if you want to do anything. I don't care if you like this video. I don't need your comment. Go ahead and schedule a tweet for Monday sometime around 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And let's all get our voice out there. We know there's going to be a whole bunch of, oh, it's been two years, been to Wakanda forever. This. I don't want that to be the sentiment. I want the sentiment to be, hey, are they really not bringing back T'Challa? Is he dead dead? Like, I've seen comic book characters die before. But this one's staying dead? Why this one, hmm? Where's T'Challa? The longer we get away from August 28th of 2020, the less the emotion is a valid reason to not have T'Challa back anymore. So you mean like Chadwick died and you know, you've done the character, you're not using him. But ever? Marvel's gonna go on for how many more years without him? Because I see the slate. There's, there's no Black Panther here. Secret Wars is a reboot of sorts. It's a refresh. It's a renewal. When Secret Wars does happen and when the heroes finally win, we want our universe back. Let's make it a universe with T'Challa. Use the hashtag recast T'Challa this Monday, November 11, 2024. And 2025. And then in 2026. And every year anniversary. Recast T'Challa. This is not an insult to Nikki. I was going to end it. I'm not going to end it. This is not insulting to Nikki, Marina, the person. It's just how did that video age? I'm not... There was a point in there where she said something about herself, something about indigenous people, Latin. I I wasn't trying to go there, but I don't know who she is. I don't know if she'll take that way. I don't know anything. If she wants to reach out to me for sure, DM me on Twitter, Instagram. It's all good. I'll tag you on Twitter, Instagram. It's not all good. It, I disagree with you, but it's all good with you. Like you're still, you could have changed your mind. I don't know. It's just that video didn't age well. If you ask me, I'm chill. I'm out.